Hello, and welcome to the fourth Iceland Roundup here on the Volcaholics channel. In this episode, we will be looking at the latest information from the Icelandic Met Office. We'll dive back into the charts once again and look at different hypothetical eruption scenarios. Let's get started. The IMO has stated that current magma accumulation rate means that the reservoir under the Svartsengi power station could reach between 8 and 13 million cubic meters of magma by next week. This is in line with our last prediction, in which we predicted an eruption on or around February 28. While an exact location will not become apparent until just hours before an eruption, if at all the Icelandic Meteorological Office has provided three possible scenarios, which we will cover later on. Next, we are going to look at the charts. Many areas have seen sudden uplift events. The main location of interest at this time appears to be Skipperstigsrón, which has seen the most significant uplift. However, as of the last data point the accuracy was questionable at best, despite this, it shows significant upward trends. Most charts are now at or just below expected levels of uplift for an eruption. Thanks to these many different sources of data, we do know, with fairly good certainty that an eruption can be expected soon. Finally, as we touched on earlier, the IMO has released three potential scenarios of the upcoming eruption. An eruption between Silingafell and Storaskogfell, as occurred on December 18, 2023, and February 8, 2024 would have the precursor of sudden, localized, an intense seismic activity with small magnitude earthquakes and deformation over the magma dike and the Svartsengi magma reservoir. There would be a very short warning time at less than 30 minutes because a new dike propagation may not be required for magma to reach the surface. Lava would reach Grindavik Road in less than four hours. The second scenario is an eruption by Hagafell, as occurred on January 14, 2024. Its precursors would be seismic activity with small magnitude earthquakes on the Sundnuku Crater Row, starting near Silingafell and migrating south and deformation over the magma dike and the Svartsengi magma reservoir. The likely warning time is approximately one to three hours from the detection of the first earthquakes until the start of an eruption. Lava would reach the lava barriers around Grindavik within one hour. Magma intrusion, which reaches south of Hagafell, will likely cause significant fault movements in Grindavik. Finally an eruption inside of the lava barriers around Grindavik would incur seismic activity with small magnitude earthquakes on the Sundnuku crater row, starting near Silingafell and migrating south. Deformation would happen over the magma dike and the Svartsengi magma reservoir. The probable warning time is between approximately 1 to 5 hours from the detection of the first earthquakes until the start of an eruption. It is possible that an eruptive fissure, S, will open within Grindavik or the region just north of here, inside the barriers. Similar activity occurred on the 14th of January when a volcanic fissure opened just inside the outer perimeter of the town, approximately 4 hours after an onset of the eruption near Hagafell. Magma intrusion, which reaches south of Grindavik, will cause significant fault movements in Grindavik. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. 